Hello YouTube, welcome to my seventh tutorial. Um, I thought I would make another one today since I didn't get to upload during the weekend. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys how to make a 3D room with text. And so let's get started. First of all, you're just going to go up to this cube, click and hold, and click on plane. Now I'm just going to make mine... Uh, uh, it's pretty small. I'll go on like 5,000 just so it doesn't take a long time to render. Then you're going to copy, paste it. And on this one, click right here and move it up to 90. That's good enough. Then click right here and you can move it back. Then copy and paste that. Click right here again. And click um, right there. Good enough. Then click, make that one go to 90. Copy and paste that one. You can just move this one over. And I don't worry about the fourth side, because um, normally you're just looking at it like this. And then what I like to do is go to File and Make a New Material. Click on Color. I like to make it just a, a light, uh, light gray or a darker white. Turn on your reflection put that down a little bit and about right, about right there about 60 <clears> percent <throat> and just drag that on there then hold control drag drag then you're gonna go to file another new material and then on this one I like to make it just a, just a tad bit darker and reflection that a little bit darker too and turn that down to about little little less than 60 probably then you're just gonna drag that on the floor and when you get a preview of it yeah I did the reflection a little bit too much because you can reflects actually a lot so what I'm just gonna do is double click on that and you can just turn down the reflection from here and then turn down the reflection from here and then when you do it again then it's not as bad um might have turned it down I don't know I mean just put it to your liking then we are going to go on MoGraph and Mo Text, and then choose your text. Then depth about 80, size about 400 probably. Move it over. I like to put uh, fillet caps on mine. Just gives it a little extra feel to it. And choose your font. And I like to make mine a little floating actually. So to do that, I really don't like this font. So I'm just gonna find a different one really quick, like this one. And I'm just gonna turn up the horizontal spacing because. As you can see the R overrides the A. So just click on this arrow and about right there. That's that's good. Then I'm gonna make another material. And of course I'm gonna do a light blue. And I accidentally clicked on the reflection instead of the color. 
and move the reflection down uh, 50. Probably look pretty good. Um, yeah, that's probably all I want. So you can hit hit the view again. And it will take a little bit. And yeah, um, I actually really like that. Uh, but then you will just go to, well, if, if this is what you want, click right here. And I'm just going to overwrite this. Click on PNG and make sure alpha channel is clicked. Go to output. 1080 by 720 uh, pixels that's about it and click render I'm just gonna overwrite it and it will render out for you <coughs> um, if this video helped please give it a thumbs up uh, if you guys would it really helps me out if I can get some subscribers also um, but see you guys.